for a few teas, the hungry fairy. Hi everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the OXO Good Grip Splatter Screen with a folding handle. During cooking, I've been having splatter problems. It's been making a huge mess on my stove and I want to try to limit it with easy cleanup. This hasn't been an easy problem and I'll show you why later on. So here's the splatter screen. It's a pretty good size. From the edge to the handle is roughly about 20 inches. Let's take the packaging off and you get a closer look. The handle is riveted to the main base of the splatter screen. When it's light, you also could see through it. Now this also feeds a compact folding handle, which makes it easy to store. The motion is not that smooth, but it gives you a tactile feeling and a visual cue that the handle is locked and unlocked. There's a quite a bit of amount of holes here. The texture is smooth. The holes should not get caught in anything, such as utensils, towels, or food. From the inner ring, I can see this handle a 12 inch pan. This is advertised to be able to do a 13 inch, which looks correct. And the smallest ring should be able to handle a seven inch pan. Now let's do a test to see if we can see inside. Now, if you have a dark pot and the food you're cooking is dark, it looks like you can't see it too well. But if you have a lighter pot, you can kind of see inside. If you want a clear picture of what's going on in a pot, you're going to have to lift up the splatter screen. The first test, I have a stainless steel pan that's medium height, cooking oxtail. With it down, you can kind of see what's inside and what's going on. All the steam escapes through the holes. I did not have a problem forming crusts with the splatter screen on. If you use the lid, you're going to have problems forming crust. For my next test, I'm going to use a very shallow cast iron pan. This is mostly when I have splatter problems. So I place the chicken in the pan. There's nothing different about that, but I have the splatter screen ready to go. Now I'll tell you why I like this splatter screen much better than a traditional one. Most of you probably have this wire type kind. And as you see, it's very hard to clean. Oil burns into the sides. This splatter screen is definitely much easier to clean. And let's take a look at the splatter status. Now some of you might say, oh, that's still some splatter but this is a huge reduction. Now, if I didn't have the screen on, this whole range will be covered in oil. Now I'm gonna place a paper towel on top. And you can probably see some of the moisture that collects. And my chicken's still going here. Time to flip. Also keep in mind, the splash screen does get very hot. At this moment, I see temperatures about 180 to 200 plus degrees. You definitely want to use the handle to move it about. And also allow it to cool before cleaning. You can't see on camera, but there is a little bit of oil on the paper towel, but not that much. This splash screen does a pretty good job of containing it all, but it is not perfect. It's easy to clean, it will last a long time because of that, and with the fold-up handle, this is a very nice item to have in the kitchen. Compared to our alternative of the super dirty splatter wire mesh screen, this is a much better solution. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.